my name is Kayla Miranda, and um, I did my project over the bacteria Streptococcus pneumoniae. And um, what Streptococcus pneumoniae is, it is a gram-positive anaerobic caucus-shaped bacteria, which oftentimes leads to pneumonia. Um, pneumonia is not the only thing that this can cause. Um, Streptococcus pneumoniae can lead to a variety of nasal infections, lung infections, meningitis, and um, typically everyone that's diagnosed with pneumonia, about 50% of them contracted it from this bacteria. And um, these are some pictures of what the virus looks like on the right. And it's typically, you can see it in like little chains. Um, it's transmitted through the air, so it's airborne. Um, most people get it while they're sleeping. They just sniff in the bacteria and it sits in their lungs and facilitates from there. And it is contagious. So who is susceptible to getting pneumonia? Um, pretty much everyone is. Um, anyone can breathe in the bacteria at any time. There are certain factors, however, that will increase your risk of becoming sick with this disease and um, those factors include if you're an aver avid smoker or drinker um, since those both affect your lungs um, if you're under the age of one or over the age of 65 you're more likely to breathe this in and be affected by it or if you have in general a weak immune system other diseases other respiratory infections can eventually develop into pneumonia. So basically what happens when you get pneumonia is you'll breathe in the Streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria and symptoms will appear and these symptoms can appear in as little as one to three days or as long as seven to 10 days. Um, symptoms for this include fever, shortness of breath, chest pain, stiff neck, chills, drowsiness, vomiting, diarrhea, and um, intense coughing, oftentimes with blood. Um, not all pneumonia is that severe. Oftentimes it's a very mild case and people don't even know they have it. Um, but off, what typically happens is the alveoli inside the lungs will fill up with fluid, which is the fluid that when you cough back out, you'll see. Treatments for streptococcus pneumoniae leading to pneumonia are typically antibiotics, and a physician will prescribe these to you after you've gone in to see a doctor and it's typically based on um, your age, your symptoms, the severity of the case. Most patients have claimed to feel better after about two to three days. If not, then that means that you probably have a um, more severe case of pneumonia. Most likely the MRSA, which is methicillin resistant. Um, this is becoming more and more common today because pneumonia is so prevalent in so many places. So luckily there are ways to prevent pneumonia and the most common is the pneumococcal vaccine, which can prevent you from pneumococcal diseases. Um, in the U.S., children are required to take this until the age of 18, and um, it does protect from many respiratory diseases. However, it's not guaranteed that you will not contract pneumonia, but your chances are decreased a lot. Um, this vaccine is not administered in all countries due to the cost, so travelers um, must be weary when in cases when they come into contact with 
um, different people who have not received the vaccine. Um, another way to prevent contracting the disease is to always wash your hands, um, quit smoking, binge drinking, avoid close contact with people who are sick, um, and just in general, um, practicing good hygiene. And yep, that's it.